Let's talk spuds, seller's property disclosure statement. As a seller, it is your responsibility to be as honest and forthcoming with all the information as possible. If you've had any recent repairs or work done to the home, you will be asked to provide receipts and invoices. You will also need to include any plans and permits. You will also see a section called the on-site wastewater treatment facility. This is a really long name for the septic. If you don't have a septic, skip it and just go on to where it talks about the sewer. There will also be a section at the end to add any information that you have not previously disclosed. This is a great portion to be used in case you have never occupied the property or if it is a relative that has since passed, like if there's a probate situation. Put any information that you can and if you don't know something, put it here that you do not know, but fill out as much as possible. We will also need something from your homeowner's insurance company called a claim history report. Even if you have never made a claim against your homeowner's insurance, we still need a clear report. You just need to contact your homeowner's insurance agent and they'll know exactly what you're referring to. Both of these things are due to the buyer right after contract acceptance, but I even prefer to put them in the listing so the buyer knows exactly what they're getting into before they buy the property. Please reach out with any questions. Have, Have a great, great day. day.